Hi, everybody. This is Jeff from the Icebox Radio Theater. Wanted to come on real quick and give a word of explanation for the show you're about to hear. It's not actually an IBRT episode. Uh, what you're about to hear is an episode of Imagination X. That's a program that I produced before I started the Icebox Radio Theater, before I actually even uh, even moved to Minnesota. It was produced by and large back in the state of Oregon when I lived there. And uh, it's sort of, I, I guess, formative. If you take a look at what the IBRT became, it all started back here with Imagination X. Uh, IX, I as I, I shorthanded it, uh, used to do a lot of horror and science fiction, and we'll be putting those uh, those pieces up this summer, uh, basically on the different archive podcasts. So the horror pieces will go up on Frozen Frights, and the sci-fi and fantasy will go up on Tales from the Wreck. If you'd like to get it all, just make sure to subscribe to the Everything Icebox feed in iTunes. So now, sit back, relax, and enjoy a blast from the past. It's Imagination X on Radio Icebox. The following audio drama is rated R for Restricted. Black and white. Day and night. Peace and war. Knowledge and ignorance. Faith and despair. Life and death. Imagination and Imagination X. All I'm saying is, it ain't safe for living around here no more. Hush, uh, you're scaring the fish. Twas a time, of course, when living in these mountains meant life at Riley. A fish in the creek, plenty of game in the woods, women... Well, the, the, there were women. Hush now, you're putting the fish off my bait. But I'm just saying, what, what I'm saying is that these here events been transpiring are severely curtailing my lifestyle. You read this here? I wouldn't read one of them tabloids if you paid me. Now I do admit they've been known to engage in hyperbole now and again, but look at the weight of them. The sheer number of stories they got in this here. What do you think, Jethro? Well... I was in my at the time it was uh, 35, and I was just going to go over five one with the outside of the old general store down down holler. And I didn't even survive going to read none, but I just uh, followed just, uh, some of the pictures that coming through. And I, I, I was five I was of them all would commend to me, to me if you have moments, my opinion. Oh, there you go. <sighs> well. Well, what? Well, you made it painfully clear that we ain't going to get a lick of fishing in until you have your say. So why don't you just say whatever it is and finish up? I'm just saying you can't pick up a copy of one of these here without reading about some folks from the holler or people like them. So? So we being picked on, that's so. We ain't being picked on, Jeb. Why is it these UFOs and Loch Ness Monsters and Bigfoot and, and such don't pick on some city folks sometime? They always coming up here. None of it happens. It's mostly city folk who's fool enough to buy their magazine, so they want to read stories about folks where they ain't. <laughs> Your mama store mama and grandma you to tell me about this thing. We could go out far. You want New York City one time, and you took five good moments leaving the office five about get all happy to be guy. And he used to come on fine, and you 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 got no one what he was talking about all the time. He talked all fun with the next five you know, normal city folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sir. Just don't seem fair, that's all. What don't seem fair? We being picked on. We ain't being picked on. We is too. We ain't. Now mind your line. I got twenty dollars says we being picked on. Well of all the ridiculous You wagering me. You yellow? No, I ain't yellow, but it... how you gonna make a wager like that? He's yellow, Jethro. Well, I've been thinking of five on the phone and me. I am not. But I'd like to see how you're going to mark the course. Well, if I can prove the folks in the hall are being picked on, you owe me $20. Oh, you fool. Might as well hand over that 20 right now. 
all right, you're so smart. Prove it. Prove what? Prove folks in the hall are being picked on. Right now. Right now? Right now. Well, it says right here on page 15. Not with them blame fool newspapers. Hard evidence. Got a picture of a UFO right here. Jeb. They also got pictures of Osama bin Laden a carrying on with Vegas showgirls. Well, how do you know he ain't? Prove it or shut up and let me fish. Uh-huh. As I suspected. That don't prove nothing. Fish. Don't prove nothing. Track me with a big old Star Trek coming out. But hey, we think we're gonna. Hey, I didn't know what, what we're gonna do. I'm, help, help me, baby. help me, Lord. help me. I didn't think it was gonna work. Look for a mommy, baby, mommy, with this boy in my hands right now. Oh, be damned. You see that? I don't believe it. Jethro done been abducted. I don't believe it. Jethro done been abducted right before our eyes. I do not believe it. Ha, damn, you owe me 20 bucks. Just shut up and fish. <laughs> Ain't that beat all? Done said right here that no one's getting abducted and what happens? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? You saw him taken up right before your eyes. I didn't see nothing and neither did you. But Cletus... Can you prove it? What? Can you prove this all's happening? But you've seen it with your own eyes. I'm going back to fishing. Well, of all the bullheaded old goats I've known in my time, you've got to be the worst. Just fish. Serve you right if one of them flying saucers come down and took you up too. That ain't going to happen and you... Well, fish. It'd serve you right. A Cletus? Don't bother me none. I'm fishing. Cletus, you gotta look over yonder. There's one of them Bigfoots coming out of the trees. I ain't gonna believe it. A Cletus, he's right there. You fool. You, 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 you believe everything you see. But Cletus, he's right. No, 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 sir. Ain't gonna, this ain't happening. Cause it's fine. No, you gotta, you all gotta, you come in. You, Mama raised me better than to, the, Jeb, Jeb. Help me, Jim. I, I believe he has romantic intentions, Jim. Oh, you gotta help your old friend, please, here, Jim. I don't know what to do. Well, I guess the shoe's on the other foot now, ain't it, Cletus? Ain't it, Cletus? Oh, but you wouldn't believe old Jeb, would you? No, sir, Jeb's just a backwoods hick, don't know nothing. No, we folks ain't being persecuted. We ain't getting carried off by UFOs and forced into unnatural relations with your bipedal hominids. No. Oh, Jeb, he's just a big old moron, ain't he, Cletus? Ain't he? <laughs> well, alone at last. Yes, sir. Just, uh, just, just me and my triumph. Mm. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> what the? Gemini. I didn't do nothing. Peace be with you, Gemini, for I bring you glad tidings from the Lord your God. You shall go forth and be his voice in this wicked sinful world. Tell me all who will listen. Repent, prepare, for the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming soon. Go, Gemini. Go now and spread the word of the creator of the universe. An angel. A 
real live angel. Oh, shit. Cletus, Cletus, you want to trade off that Bigfoot? I, I got a trade for you, Cletus. What do you say about a trade? That Cletus, get back here and quick hogging that Bigfoot. Cletus, Cletus, have a heart. I got to talk to you about something. I got a trade for you. Cletus, please come on back. You're hogging the Bigfoot, Cletus.